So one thing that is a common denominator in every question that I have been asked recently or situation, um, it seems like you women think the men have forgotten what it's to be a gentleman and a man mixed together and that they only exist like I do think this in books and movies. And you know, maybe we are a bit jaded from what we see on TV, what we read in a book, what we expect, set those high expectations, but maybe they don't have to meet every expectation in the book. Maybe if it's just the simple thought or gesture, gesture that they think of us, sometimes at our lowest points, you know, they say that, that God sends an angel. I believe that if we are having a low point or a high point, if they care, they should show it, not be afraid, not sit behind a computer or a cell phone and just be like, play games. Basically, that's all that is. I think that the dating apps anymore are just that. That's what they are, games. You know, you can post pictures, you can post things on there that mean something to you. But at the same time, they're only getting to see a small portion of what's really you. And if you think about the big thing in life, we all have different wants, different needs. We all have different expectations of what we want from a relationship. I think that when you think about, well, for me, romance, yes, I'm a Hallmark Channel watching, you know, kind of female. I used to watch the soap operas, gotten away from that because life happens, you know, you get older, you don't have all the time in the world. You, you're lucky to get two hours on a Saturday night to watch a movie. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you got house chores, you got things to do and things just change, life changes. Um, but if it's meant to be, it'll work itself out and love always finds a way. Even like the movies, even after they give them the, oh, the worst possible thing happens. Oh my goodness, they work it out. And you know, it doesn't matter if it's a card that says thinking of you that you get from your loved one. If it's a simple gesture of maybe a, a rose delivery, something that Yours truly has never even had, I mean, I've had a Vermont teddy bear, yes, but I've never had roses delivered, you know, uh, just something that you've never had before. Uh, that's what I think a relationship should bring. And, you know, when Mike sent me that Vermont teddy bear, which I still have, yes, um, I just, it meant so much more. It was more than the money that he spent on the bear. It was the actual time that he took to think about me, to care, to want to send something that he knew I would probably cherish for years to come, even if the relationship didn't last for years to come in his mind. But I didn't know that at the time, you know, and I've been asked before, well, you know, let's say down the road, you know, a relationship happens for you again. And of course it won't be with Mike, <laughs> just saying, but, um, a relationship happens, you know, what would happen to your Vermont teddy bear? I said, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right now, I'm not looking that far ahead. Um, I'm just now looking to the point of, you know, adoption, and that's all I see. Because, honestly, it would take a man to really step his game up to change my, my whole outlook on that. And my, my heart's not there to give. Let's be honest, it is not there to give, and it would not be fair because my heart is still stuck. So that's all I'm going to say on that. But I'm going to sing this song right now, and I want you all to listen to these words, especially you men out there who are looking at women and going, how can I win her heart? Listen to the lyrics of this song. Take the time, take the effort in order to get your res desired results out of what you want in your relationship, okay? If that means you see this woman walking down the street, don't go running up to her telling her how good she looks, hell no. I want you to actually, you know, if this is somebody that you've never even seen before, okay? T it, I just, I don't know, I've never been one for these chance meetings like that. I always think that things happen for a reason that you have to either know the person or have met them before in order for that relationship to work. Um, and it's just a weird situation uh, where my life is concerned on relationships. It really is. But 
at this point, the way I look at relationships, I'm probably pretty jaded. I hate to say it, but it's true. But, um, I, my heart is just, it's got a history and that history is just stuck on that same page and it just does not want to move on, which is okay for me because I just want to adopt at this point if I can't get back what I had. So Donna, shut up and sing. Yes, I agree. So here we go. Take it like a man. Men, listen up. It's a delicate thing So much time spent wondering If what you see Is what you get I keep looking for a friend and a lover When I find one He ain't the other sometimes I just want to quit One wants a maid one needs his mother, the evil wants space, oh they want to smother me and my poor heart needs somebody who can take it like a man, steady and strong, not a lot of fuss and carrying on, true to a promise I can ride in a storm, take it like a man, who knows about love and every little thing that a girl dreams of someone wise enough to understand if you want this woman's heart take it like a man I met somebody the other night started thinking he was Mr. Right Wrong I might have never known if a friend hadn't brought it to my attention He's got a wife you forgot to mention Girl, leave that fool alone I keep hoping and telling myself Somewhere there's one good one left Cause my poor heart needs somebody who Can take it like a man Steady and strong, not a lot of fuss and carrying on. True to a promise I can ride in a storm. Take it like a man who knows about love and every little thing that a girl dreams of. Someone wise enough to understand. If you want this woman's heart, take it like a man. Can take it like a man, steady and strong, not a lot of fuss and carrying on, true to a promise I can ride in a storm. Take it like a man, who knows about love, and every little thing that a girl dreams of, someone wise enough to understand. If you want this woman's heart, Take it like a man Take it like a man Well honey, if you want my heart You better take it like a man So there's the song And I honestly think the best relationship I've ever seen in my entire life Okay, was my grandparents they had the what I call the very first internet relationship. Let's go back into the history books here a little bit before I uh, sign off for the night. There's two sides to every story. There's his side, there's her side, and there's the truth. So I guess three sides really. 
This was my grandma's version. If you ask my grandpa's version, it's a totally different side. It's yeah, That's the way it was with them. You can never get the same thing told the same way twice because I think grandma had what, what I have, which is the romantic heart. And she always cast like this rosy romantic view on things where grandpa, he was just like stone cold truth. I'm a World War II veteran. This is the way it happened, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's the way it is. But I always loved the way Grandma would tell me they how they first met. And this is why I call them the first internet relationship before the internet came along. Because they were married 72 years. Okay. Actually 73 this year. But anyway, um, Grandma told me that the way they first met was there was a picture in her brother's knapsack that my grandpa and my uh, her would have been her brother, so my great uncle was on this boat uh, going over to, uh, I want to say it was China, but yeah, I think it was China uh, for the World War II thing over there. Well, anyway, on a ship. And Grandma's picture just happened to fall out. And Grandma, Grandma said this was what Grandpa said, which if you ask him, it would probably not be the same version. But anyway, this is the version I got from her. Was he said, who picture is that? She's so pretty. She's so beautiful. That's got to be your your girlfriend, your wife, or your mom. And he, he said, he got the weirdest look from my late great uncle. And he said, well, that ain't any of them. That's my ugly old sister. And so he said, is she married? And so he got the address and they started writing back and forth, being pen pals. And he just knew when he got home, if he got home from the war, he was going to come back and marry my grandma. And needless to say, it happened. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. So I think that is the best version that I can hear. You know, a man that, based on a picture alone, knew that he was writing to somebody that he, he may have knew of just a little bit because of stories he heard from somebody, which was her relation. But to really get to know her, he knew it was going to take time. He knew that it was going to take compassion and understanding and writing to get to know her more rather than him hearing it from his, say, the brother. He had to hear it from her. So therefore, it took more of a, a time to get to know her in order to know that he was going to marry her, not just based on looks alone. He had to really dig deep, take that time, that effort to really know her as a person. No matter what version you hear, it takes that in a relationship. And no matter what relationship that you're in, it takes that to be in a steady relationship that you want to grow and nurture into love. Then you have to have that. Without it, it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? I really hope tonight that you take away from one, from this whole video packages that I've done that A, any relationship worth having is going to go through ups and downs, but you have to be the one to, especially if somebody's old fashioned, to make the effort. And if they're scared to death and they're like going, oh my God, it's a fear of rejection. You have to help them with that fear of rejection. It is your job to help them get over that mountain in order to try again. So that's what I'm going to leave you with tonight. I hope that you've taken to heart what I've said. If you're thinking about getting into a relationship, before you do, weigh the pros, weigh the cons. And like I've said, the greatest test you can ever do, which I'm probably going to sing that song tomorrow night, which is Lori White's The Test. And the only way to pass the test is one word, no more, no less. And it's the word love. If that is at the bottom of that page, then you've passed the test. And I don't believe in lust. I don't believe in sex before marriage. I believe that in order to get to that point, you have to have this deep friendship the friendship has to lead to love. Love has to lead to marriage. Marriage has to lead to that in order to get there. Because if not, there are so many things that could go wrong. A, you could get a sexual transmitted disease. Or 
he could be cheating on you already with somebody else and you could just be a side piece. Or something else that could happen. This is uh, another deep thing. How much do you really know him to know that you are his one and only? Again, with the cheating. But you see, there's so much of that going on in today's world. I think that one thing I had to examine from the whole Mike situation was, you know, it, he left me for his best friend's wife. And I went back time and time again, Lord God knows, especially over the years. And I thought about everything that he ever said to me. I don't know how many of you do that, you know, analyze things until you can't analyze them anymore. And yeah, you know, Dumble on me can, you know, see signs later on that I should have picked up then, but it's too late to do that now. There's no way to say, oh, you know what? You're cheating on me. Goodbye. You know, you just have to learn from your mistakes and hope that you don't repeat them again. But I'm reading this book now where the gentleman has been divorced and he says something to the girl in the book. And he didn't want to get into a relationship. You know, he's fresh from a divorce. He's moved to fool's gold. And he's like, no, mm -mm, no relationship. But he tells her that he reminds her of his ex. And throughout the book that I'm leading up to, the end here, it's a trust issue. with. It's not so much based on looks. It's a trust issue. And if he can get over the trust issue and let her in his heart, then it, they can work things out. But I don't know if they're going to work things out or not. Of course they are. It's a romance novel. But, you know, just leading up to that, giving y'all some things to think about the book review tomorrow night. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for watching these videos. And I hope that I made an impact tonight with you. I hope that you think about those leap of faiths that you're not taking. I hope that I make you stop and think about life in general because it is too short regrets and remorse and all that good stuff is too short. That's not important. Anyway, I love each and every one of you. Thank you for watching. God bless. See you tomorrow.